needless loss of life in Minnesota jails, denial of basic medical and mental health care, a near total lack of state oversight and accountability. That's what Carol Evans' investigations have exposed. I don't think that you can look at the videos that, that you all have uh, shown. There is no one that can really look at that and say that that's how human beings should be treated. Minnesota Department of Corrections Commissioner Paul Schnell is now proposing an extensive rewrite of the state's jail legislation. Some of it has been on the books since 1905. Schnell says the goal of the proposed reforms is to ensure correctional facilities comply with current best practices. He calls it a moral and legal obligation. And I uh, look forward to the opportunity to, to implement these provisions. Um, to take that first step toward reinstalling a sense of trust. Key provisions include new standards for providing medical and mental health care, increased DOC authority to revoke or suspend licenses when jails fail to properly care for inmates, outside objective medical review of all inmate deaths to better prevent future deaths. But ultimately what we wanted to do was bring forward a proposal immediately that our state policymakers could take a look at and uh, debate and discuss um, that ultimately addresses the concerns that you all have identified. A first hearing on the proposed jail legislation is scheduled for this Friday. Several of the families that Carol Levin profiled have been invited to testify. For Carol Levin Investigates, I'm AJ Legault. To see all the important work that helped bring about this change, head to the Investigate section of care11.com. 